हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजेक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कंटिन्यूटी ऑफ लिक्विड एंड गैस स्टेट एंड डिफरेंस बिटवीन वेपर एंड गैस लेट्स एगेन फ्रॉम एंड्रोएज एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ऑन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू डिटरमाइन अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट he plot the graphs between pressure and volume and various isotherms are detected throughout that of graph the graph was looks like this here next axis he plot volume v and y axis he plot pressure p and the isotherms are formed looks like this These are the isotherms. That is the critical point. These two are the region for liquid. These are the region for gas. That inside that region we get liquid and vapor. liquid and vapor let me discuss what is continuity of liquid and gaseous state uh, here we consider the isotherm as shown in that of figure and the dome shaped that is the dome shaped the name of that dome shaped is c G C G X F B is the dome shaped. The dome shaped curve C G X B shown by that bold line connects in the end points of the isotherm C B. which is horizontal all points inside that of dome correspond to equilibrium between liquid and vapor as that horizontal portion represents two phases in equilibrium that is liquid and vapor at the top of that of dome lies the critical point x within the area of that of dome both liquid ga and gaseous states can coexist but outside that area of that of dome either the liquid or the gaseous states can coexist here both gaseous and liquid states coexist but outside that of dome either gaseous states or liquid states may coexist but in reality there is no such distinction or the dividing line between the liquid and gaseous state in fact there is a gradual transition from a gas to liquid or vice versa means liquid to gas without any sudden change in state so here we can define the principle of continuity of state as the principle according to which
it is impossible impossible to make a distinction between a gas and a liquid is called as the principle of continuity of state. the principle of continuity of state the principle of continuity of state what happened here this is the distinction this distinction between liquid and gaseous state is only possible within the dome area that is the dome area within the dome area when both the states both the states are present and there is a boundary surface without that boundary it will not be possible to distinct between gas and liquid to distinguish between gas and the liquid here the principle of continuity of state now what happened with the help of the principle of continuity of state now we discuss what is the basic difference in between vapor and gaseous states vapor and gaseous states we write it through the two columns first one that is gas second column we prefer vapor and the points based upon how these two are differentiate with each other first one gas a gas is a substance that has single defined thermodynamic state gas is a single defined thermodynamic state but in case of vapor is a mixture of two phases at room temperature that is a mixture of gaseous and liquid phase but here that is a single defined gas 
single defined thermodynamic state that is the gaseous states, but here that is the combination of both gaseous and liquid state. Second point, gas uh, can be described through its physical properties, physical properties such as pressure, temperature, volume, these are the physical properties of gas. With the help of these physical properties, gas can be described and again gas has low density and concentration, but in case of vapor is measured through the pressure of gas. Only pressure is that physical property through which we can define vapor, but here in case of gas pressure, temperature and volume are the physical properties on the help of these physical properties we can describe about gas. Next point, molecules are in constant free motion past each other. In case of gas, molecules are constant free motion past each other. But in case of vapor, it is a substance that experiences some phase change at room temperature. Some phase changes is at room temperature for that of vapor. In gas, the particles do not definite shape and uh, is the collection of atoms, ions, electrons and molecules. But here vapor may have definite shape, that is not definite shape, here the particles have definite shape. In gas at room temperature, gas is its only natural state, but in case of vapor, a vapor in its natural state can be solid or liquid at room temperature. Gas is, the gas is at only its room temperature, but vapor in room temperature in the two form either that is liquid or that is in solid form. Gas is a state of matter, means there are three state of matter, means liquid, solid and gas. Uh, so, gas is a state of matter, but vapor is not a state of matter. A gas is a substance above its critical temperature, but below its critical pressure. We say gas here, gas is a substance which is above that of critical temperature but below its critical pressure, this is the critical pressure point. So, below its critical pressure, this is the gas, but in case of vapor is a substance above its boiling point substance. If we take the boiling point of water that is 100 degree Celsius, after that boiling point the water starts vaporization. So, vapor is uh, the state above its boiling point of a substance. So, these are uh, some basic difference between gas and vapor. So, with the help of this video lecture, we understand what is the continuity of liquid and gaseous states. By using Andrea's experiment carbon dioxide, we take the isotherms as the examples and with the help of these isotherms, we define what is the principle of continuity of state and what exactly occurred with the help of the principle of continuity of state. Next the difference between vapor and gas, there are various different points on the basis of uh, observations, basic differentiation between gas and vapor. So, with this useful uninformative notes, let me wind up this session. Thank you.